This product is legal in California for racing vehicles that shall never be operated upon a public highway. AEM holds no responsibility for any engine damage that results from the misuse of this product. AEM is pleased to announce the release of a running upgrade for the water methanol injection system. A new internally bypassed recirculation type pump is now used to further enhance your power potential. This new upgraded pump now comes standard in every AEM water methanol injection kit, plus it can also be purchased separately to upgrade existing systems. The new recirculation style pump is offered in two different versions. A 6 amp, 72 watt standard duty pump for the 1 gallon kit, or a 12 amp, 144 watt, heavy duty pump for the 5 gallon diesel truck kits. This new pump features no cycling, which allows the pump to run continuously for consistent fluid delivery. This provides a reliable supply of water methanol. Consistent pressure output for more predictable flow rates with a steady line pressure, which helps to reduce variations in your tuning and performance. Maximum line pressure for better atomization, and atomization is the key to proper fluid distribution intake air temp reductions and combustion control. Smooth and quiet operation with less noise and vibration. This helps reduce fatigue and wear on the pump and other system components. Now let's have a look at how this new pump operates. Here we have two different injection systems running together. The nozzle on the left is being used with a typical cutoff switch pump and the nozzle on the right is tied to the new AEM recirculation pump. With the systems on, you can clearly see how smooth the new pump is and how much the line pressure fluctuates with the standard cutoff switch pump. Let's take a closer look at the switch style pump. In this close-up shot, you can see that the pressure fluctuation creates a very noticeable change in the ejection quantity as the pump pulses on and off. This pulsing means the atomization quality is always changing as well as the injection flow rate which leads to inconsistent performance. Now let's check out the new AEM pump. Take note that the spray coming from the new AEM pump is very steady and highly misted. With this new pump we have more consistent pressure, atomization, and flow rates. And let's show them together again. Again, notice the smooth fluid delivery that the new AEM pump has compared to the switched out pump that is always pulsing. In this next shot you can see how much the switched out pump oscillates compared to the new recirculation pump. Here is the internally bypassed AEM pump. Notice the absent switch assembly. And here is the old style switch pump with its cutoff switch on the end here. Now with both pumps turned on it's very obvious to see how much movement there really is. Now if I pick up the switch pump off the table you can actually get an idea of how much movement there really is. The inertia of the electric motor turning on and off really does cause it to vibrate quite a bit over here to the AEM pump which is continuously running and you'll notice there's almost no vibration at all. It runs very smoothly. And just to show that both pumps are actually running, let me show you the nozzles. First you'll see the one for the switch pump and here's the one for the new pump. It's going smooth. Uh, let me get them in the shot together. There they are. As you can see, they are both running. Here you can see the actual difference between the two pumps. While it may appear that the cutoff switch has simply been replaced with a block off plate on the new AEM pump, the internal design is actually significantly different. Behind the diaphragms inside the pump head are spring assisted pressure relief valves that open at high pressure and allow the fluid to bypass internally. The old style pump uses an external pressure switch to cycle the pump on and off which leads to undesired changes in pressure and flow. Some injection system manufacturers will lead you to believe that this is some kind of pressure regulator or adjuster, but all it does is simply set the pressure at which the pump is turned on and off. 
For more information on this product or to locate your local AEM dealer, please visit www.aempower.com.